Okay, welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to create a second camera to only display our ghost game objects. So this, this transparent model here. This is because when we drag the model through the scene, um, sometimes the terrain intersects the, the model and we can't see some of it. So this is really apparent when we go over to the steep hills. The, uh, the game object goes into the terrain. We cannot see it. This doesn't look very professional. So what we can do is set up a second camera that um, overlays the main camera and only displays this object. So it ignores everything else. So we'll be able to see the, the entire object here. So it's quite simple to do. We just need to set up another layer. We can just select any object and go to our Tag Manager. On uh, user layer 13, I'm going to set up a new layer called Ghost. Okay. Um, within our main camera, we can ignore this layer within the culling mask. So it's already been ignored. That's good. Um, and our, our new camera is only going to display this Ghost layer. Okay. So uh, we want to assign this layer to our ghost object. So within unit ghost, we can say void start. Yep, this game object layer equals layer mask, name to layer, ghost. Just a simple way of assigning a layer to a game object. So this is our setup complete. Now we can go ahead and set up the camera. So within our menu setup, um, the place where we set up our menu when the user clicks the button the uh, the ghost is instantiated we can store the ghost itself so let's do it at the bottom here we can say public game object ghost camera this is going to be the camera object within our game I'm going to hide this in the inspector because we're going to create it and get rid of it within our C sharp script the other thing we'd like to have is a layer mask to assign to this camera. So we can just say public layer mask. Let's call this ghost camera layer mask. Cool, I'm going to jump back into the inspector straight away and configure this layer mask. Here we are. Uh, so the menu setup's updated. Ghost camera layer mask. Nothing at the moment. We just want to assign the ghost layer to this layer mask. Okay, so when we click a button in our menu and the ghost object is instantiated, we're also going to create the, the ghost camera. And when we deselect the object, we can then destroy the, the ghost camera. So, so firstly, we can say if there is not a ghost camera, we can then go and create one. So we can say ghost camera equals a new game object called ghost camera. Cool, simple as that to create the uh, game object. We can copy the position and the rotation of the camera as it currently is but the way we've set this up is that the position is always going to be controlled by the controller okay and the main camera is the rotation we're worried about so to, to set this up we can say ghost camera transform position equals game object find camera controller transform position Cool, so for the rotation, again, ghost camera transform, Euler like angles, camera main transform, Euler like angles. So when we first instantiate the camera, it's the same position as the camera controller, really important, and it's the same rotation as the, uh, the main camera. So instead of updating these positions and rotations on every single frame we can parent this game object to the main camera because on then on every single frame it will follow the main camera via the parent's camera controller and it will follow the main camera's rotation so we won't have to worry about configuring this anymore okay so to do this we can just say ghost camera transform parent equals camera main transform cool so once this is instantiated and replay the game, this camera will be parented to this main camera. So I'm just going to test this now, just so you show you guys it works. Scrolling up, selecting a unit, we can't see it at the moment because it's in our ghost layer. Um, within the main camera, the ghost camera is now parented to this. Okay. So moving on, we need to add the actual camera components to this now. So we can say ghost camera, add component camera. Simple as that, to add a camera. 
So now we can just store the camera component as a separate variable just to make things easier. So camera ghost camera equals ghost camera camera. Okay. So now once we've got this component, we can configure the camera to match the, the main camera. Okay, so it needs to match the far clip plane, the near clip plane, um, the depth, for example. So then we know there are, there'll be no anomalies when we test this game. So firstly, we can say ghost camera culling mask is the ghost camera layer mask. This layer mask only displays objects with the ghost layer. So ghost camera near clip plane equals the camera main near clip plane. Same thing for the far clip plane. Camera main far clip plane. Cool, so let's just configure a few more things. Ghost camera clear flags equals camera clear flags depth. So this is really important. This will make sure that uh, the camera clears everything in the depth field on every frame. Okay, so it updates on every frame. Ghost camera depth equals one because uh, our main camera's depth is uh, zero. This is depth is going to be one, so it's going to overlap the main camera. Okay, so we can just configure a few more things. Ghost camera rect equals new rect zero zero one one. Uh, ghost camera rendering path equals rendering path use player settings um, let's just do a couple of things ghost camera target texture equals no there is no target texture ghost camera HDR equals false high dynamic range equals false okay so this is our camera setup now and it should display the ghost object when we start the game. Okay, so let's test this now. So selecting an object, we can see the object now. And if you guys can notice, the object never gets hidden by objects in the in the main camera because this camera is overlapping. So if we go and go to the side of this uh, hill, now we can see the whole of the uh, the ghost object. Really cool. Same thing here. We can never not see any of the objects. It's always showing. Okay. So there's nothing obstructing it now from the scene. Cool. So the last thing I like to do is delete this camera when we right click to deselect the ghost object. So within our unit ghost, when we when we click the right mouse button, we've said destroy the game object, but we can also say destroy menu setup. Remember that instance we set up uh, ghost camera, destroying it from the scene. So I think that's all we uh, need to do in this setup. Just double checking the deleting of it. So select this. We now have the ghost camera. But when I right click and delete this object, boom, the camera goes away. Okay. So this fixes the issue of uh, other objects hiding the ghost. In the next video, we'll do a couple more tests to determine if we can build the unit. Then we'll go ahead and build it. So thanks for watching the video, guys.